feeding people is basic. It's a basic need. It's a, it's a basic principle to feed our sheep, as we call it. The food ministry has so many components to it. It's, there's a lot. Their fruit ministry, aka the Fruit Loops, which is actually the oldest part of our existing food ministry. They've been around 10 to 12 years, so that they were the original food ministry folks. Then there's a food pantry with a weekly distribution. The farmer's market, many vendors who have leftover produce donates it to us at the food pantry, so we pick that up on Saturday and have that available to our clients on Monday's distribution. Hopefully we'll have some produce from our St. Stephen's Community Garden. The mobile food pantry is another one's a fairly new addition. We partner with the Central Virginia Food Bank. The mobile food pantry truck comes over to Fairfield Court School. We provide the volunteers to unload the truck, pack the bags, and then the families are usually there for a PTA meeting or a concert, and then after that activity is over, they come out and get bags of groceries to take home. The community Sunday suppers have become a big hit. The food is very healthy. We try to support the vendors in the farmer's market and get a lot of the ingredients and items from them to prepare. Volunteers each week prepare the meals. We have cook teams made up of all sorts of folks across the parish, young adult groups, Emmaus groups. It's just a wonderful time on Sunday evening after the Celtic service and before the Coughlin service for folks to gather, weather permitting, we eat outside. It is donation based. If you can afford to pay, then contribute some for your meal. If you can't, that is completely fine too. You do what you can when you can. Some of these folks may be clients of our food pantry and they have an opportunity now whether they can contribute and donate any money to the meal or not. It's become not just an event for parishioners and, and members of St. Stephen's, but for the community. It's all of us working together and interconnected that makes all these, this happen. I think we're providing hugs, a shoulder to cry on. We've gotten to know a lot of people that come. We are touching people and giving out so much more than just food. I'm retired and having a hard time making ends meet and um, running out of money only on social, social security income. So um, very proud, don't want to ask anyone for any help. So I looked in the phone book, looked for under food banks, and I saw St. Stephen's name, and I said, I'd like to help out. And Deb said, oh yes, we can always use volunteers. The first day I volunteered, I said to Deb, is it okay if I take it back? And Deb said, not a problem. And from that point on, it was just the attitude of how the zip code didn't matter, didn't matter what my age was, didn't matter what I looked like. It was that I needed food, and I got two bags. And um, I was very, very taken with the church. And I said, well, this is the place I'm going to volunteer. And they've welcomed me, and uh, I haven't had to take any more food home, but I know if I asked, they would say yes. But um, I think my food now is just being here with these people. What we try to do is, is match our volunteers up with where they are in their spiritual journey. And if working in, and serving in some facet of our food ministry is for them, then they're getting a lot out of it too. So, you know, I think all of that is is carrying out God's work, if you will, or, um, you know, part of our Christian faith and, and just what we need to do is, is to be there, love our neighbors. I'm amazed at how many people are hungry in this world. There is no age, there is no race, there is no creed. These are people who need to eat. All of us need food sometimes. I can't say I'm not gonna help anybody because it's not right, because so many people have helped me.